So let's look at edge detection with a simple example. I'm going to give you my usual simple image. Let's use this as an example and see what we can do with it. So the basic idea of edge detection is we want to look for a neighborhood with strong signs of change. So let's, for example, look at this pixel or this neighborhood of one and look at it with respect to the other pixels around it. How much is the change from here to there? How much is the change from here to here? And also basically just in that neighborhood of these pixels here, figure out, oh, is there a big discontinuity here? And of course, there is a significant discontinuity, 12 intensity to 90. We can basically start looking at that one by one throughout the whole image. So of course, the same when I look at this and I compare it with this, there's a discontinuity, a significant one between these two. However, not much so between 90 and 89. Looking at this a pixel here, I would also also have the same time comparison, much more discontinued here. Of course, I didn't go down all the way here, but if you notice 89, 86, 87, 82 were somewhat similar, not exactly the same. I mean, there is discontinuity, just not a significant one, but between 12 and 88, much more. Again, we can keep coming down this way, and 9 and 10 have discontinuity, 15 and 12 have discontinuity, but small. So again, when I hit 12, you basically know there's a significant discontinuity here and also between 12 and 84. So this process basically as I scan through an image, uh, I will be looking for each and every pixel and look in the neighborhood, the uh, four connected next to it itself and say, okay, do I need to put something between those pixels to create an edge? And I can just go through the whole process and see how this looks for this instance. And you can basically see that of course, just by looking at a continu uh, discontinuities between different types of things, we can create this simple um, line which separates out this part of the image with that one, or basically points out that there is a discontinuity between it. Here is another way of looking at it. Basically, now I've just given those gray values, and now I can see the edge between the two. It becomes much more clearer this way also. So as we do this, we have to think about various things. What is the size of the neighborhood? I started off with basically the assumption that the neighborhood size, which I've always referred to, was one because I looked at it with respect to that. Then also, what metric represents a change? And in this case, we looked at saying is, well, let's not basically think there are, are different if the pixel intensity is different by three. But if it's several orders of, in this case, of course, almost 78, we will put that as an edge. Or in this case, um, you know, again, about 76. So all of those variations are much larger. So we basically came up with some sort of a threshold uh, and defined that as where we would actually look for those changes. So if there was with certain amounts, if it was above it or not, we would actually uh, look for that discontinuity. Of course, there is discontinuity, much smaller one between each and every pixel, but we will just be looking for larger ones. So that's one more thing we have to look at. 